Ian, a very important victory tonight. 2-1 against Heaton Stanett. And um, how would you sum up our performance? Uh, it wasn't a classic by any stretch of the imagination, as I'm sure you'll agree. Um, both teams struggled first half, I thought. and It, it, it looked like a team who hadn't played for 17 days, to be fair. Um, that said, uh, went, in, went in half time, 2-0 up. Um, as well as being a little bit dominant towards the end of the first half, I thought we were comfortable. Um, and then second half, we didn't really come out. We didn't really come out, but um, can't really complain. Can't really complain, Andrew. Uh, three points against a, a tough side. I agree. It was a cagey affair for the first 20 minutes. Um, however, as soon as we got that breakthrough, I thought we kicked on. Uh, would, would you agree with that? Yeah, and I mean, we missed quite a few chances. We had enough to chances to make it three or four in the first half. Um, and that probably would have put the game to bed comfortably. However, we didn't. And when you miss when you miss one or two chances, uh, two nils always a strange score line. Because if they get one, get back in it, which they did, it can be a bit cagey at times. So we had chances all through at the game um, to get a third, and that would have probably seen the game through. However, we missed chances. Sean McRoberts hit the bar. Michael Chilton then had one cleared off the line. They go at the other end at, on 81 minutes and get a put and pull one back. Sorry. What was going through your head on the bench? Well, it's like I said before, it makes it a little bit cagey, especially in the last 10 minutes, the, di the, 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 the dying parts of the game. And um, To be fair, Heaton, I think they got three injuries and they were down to 10 men themselves. So um, they got a goal and they went down to 10 men to win another injury. So um, they were up against it really as well. But um, I just wanted to see the game out really, which we did. Can you just put into words how important those three points are for the team? Well, they're absolutely massive, to be fair, And I've just said to the lads in there, you know, um, we haven't played well, the performance wasn't brilliant, but we've beaten a, a strong heat inside, and we're now sit on top of the league, and we haven't got to forget that, and that's where we're aiming to be. So, um, to go at the top of the league at this part of the season with 10, 11 games left, we've got to be pleased with that, and we are, we are tonight with the three points, really happy. Uh, part one of Judgment Week is over. <laughs> Second test is Towel or Town on Saturday. It's the hard games come thick and fast, don't they? It's, it's going to be another real tough test at their place. They do. However, when you're going for leagues, I would say I would argue that the next ten will be tough because everybody's trying to stop you winning the league. And uh, Saturday will be no exception. It'll be a really, really tough game up at Tavolo. Um But hopefully we can go go up there, put a performance on, come away with a positive result. Cheers, Ian. Thanks, Andrew.